What's up, everyone? Pittsburgh White Schwartz back again with another set review. Today we are doing Chainsaw Man. Uh, there are a bunch of set reviews we have to do, so I threw a dart at a board and it landed on Chainsaw Man. And by that I mean it was at the top of the next set list. Uh, I am joined today by Ollie. Yo. And new guest to the channel from Wild Wild Weiss, John. What's up? Hello, not much. Damn, that's that that's a fucking cool Weiss channel. Yeah. Yep. Only all the way up. People watch that channel. All the way up, and it's, it's very. Uh, all the way up in the north. The Great White way, North. Way north, even more north than usual. Even more north than that, yeah. Yeah, even more north. All right. Well. Let's just jump right into it. As usual, uh, we've curated it, so uh, we will have a list of relevant cards, if there are any, at the end of each uh, section and color. Uh, TD's pretty lean this time, so the cards that we have listed are the cards that are relevant, but then, of course, we have other notable profiles for yellow, green, etc. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, we got this Power Ricky. It is also a uh, stock bomb, so when this card's reversed, your card, uh, card battle opponent is level 0 or lower. Send that character to stock. If you did, pop your opponent's bottom card to stock. And then it is a pay one uh, selective clock from your waiting room. A Devil Hunter, a public safety character. That is pretty much every card in the set. Uh, if there is a relevant card that doesn't have those traits, we will make note of it. But those are pretty much the global traits. Um, and it is a salvage ricky, not level restricted. So set your color. Uh, pretty good on the board. And um, salvage is anything. I don't think it salvages the the feature devil, right? Uh, no, that is devil. No, so it doesn't. So it doesn't pick up future devil. That is one of the most relevant I'm cards relevant. that might not hit. Usually, it's devil, devil hunter, or like devil hunter public. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, color selective salvage tricky, yeah. pretty decent yeah. cards. It's the good. fact that it's also a bomb. You play this as your primary clock plus. You also just get to play three, four bombs, which is nice. There's a lot of clock plus options in the set, though, so maybe this isn't the one you decide to play, but uh, this one's still pretty good. If you need yellow, or if there's a lot of Hollow Alive in your... Actually, does that even, is that even relevant anymore? Does Hollow Alive even play the On Death Rickies anymore? I mean, if they don't play if they don't play Aqua, they play Lammy, so like, there's something there for you to, yeah. for you to shoot. So, feel good. All right, next card, John. This is yours. Oh boy, I can read. Uh, let's see. This is a three-four yellow event. It says you may choose one card in your hand, send it to the waiting room. If you do, perform the following three effects once each. Uh, look it up to three cards from the top of your deck. Place them on top in any order. Choose one of your opponent's card characters. Return it to hand. Uh, second effect, deal one damage to your opponent. Choose up to one card in your opponent's waiting room. Place it on top of the deck. Choose one of your characters. During this turn, it gets 1,000 power. The final effect is choose up to two of your characters. During this turn, they get one soul each. A lot of stuff. Pretty... Yeah, lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's a lot of ingredients on the sandwich. <laughs> to be fair, there are quite a few. It's also four stock. Yeah, that is this is like quite hefty. <laughs> the wombo combo card, right? With one of the combos. I think it lets you like play it cheaper, maybe. Or, or I, this card might stand alone. I don't think this card like goes with anything. I thought it was. I thought that was no like idea. a power combo that like was really good with this. Maybe it was like I... the choice level three. There was a power that did something that people played this for. With it. Let me look here. Um, I don't think it's any anything specific. I know there's an event just... that works with Makima, but I don't know. As mm -hmm. it stands, yeah. it is too expensive. It's a lot of stuff that's and there's no bond to it. It's just ugh. a lot of stuff that I don't care about doing besides the burn one and bounce. But like, I don't think that's enough of a reason to play it. Sure. Yeah, it's 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 um it's death gun on an event with more text. <laughs> it sure. is death gun with more text. All right, moving on, Ollie. Uh, I got this level one Denji combo. Uh, when this attacks, if you have if two, 
if two or more other double hunter or public safety characters are on your stage, I believe, this gets 2k power, so it swings at 6-5. And then on attack, if the door's in your climax zone, if you have another double hunter or public safety character, it's uh, mill top two, salvage level extra lower equal to the total level of cards you milled, cigarettes combo. It's a 7,500 cigarettes. It is the, like, oh. bog standard... <laughs> like combo i think this set has like infinitely better plus and combos to play than this yeah this is just like definitely the... agree but for a td combo this is still pretty it's nice like, yeah fine cigarette is like the cigarette or magro is like the like quintessential td mm -hmm. level one combo i feel like yeah, yeah definitely like the bare minimum of what you'll sleeve up and play all right, we got a uh, climax swap here. I didn't want to make whole notable profile slide for one card, so this is a vanilla climax swap. We can just move on. Woo. Cool. All right, we got this power. Uh, she bonds to two different cards. Uh, one is a vanilla Denji. The other is a 2-1 Denji, which is part of a merge package, which we'll look at in a second. But it's also a uh, ditch a card sack salvage Devil Hunter public safety. Nice. I'll give it the like a C for just being a sack salvage. Probably what you'd see this card be used for more than anything. But I mean, I don't know. There's a Rico. Does, does so. this two one do anything that's worth the t thinking about? It's it merges. Oh, it's, it's the, the next card. Oh, it's this yeah. Way. So John, you can read this. I've I've set it up so that you, know, you got the two one and the other ones the. Pochita, the Pochita doesn't do much, so combined it into this line. All right, sounds good. So Denji is a 2-1. Uh, it reads, when it's placed on stage, you draw one and then discard a card. It also says, uh, send this card to waiting room, choose, I'm assuming that's a level 3 Chainsaw Man. In your waiting room, place on the same slot as this guy, and then place one Pochita underneath that face up as a marker. Wow, very nice. Pochita is global 500 and a pay two rest searcher. Deck for a devil hunter or devil character, and that's a hand. Fine. So it doesn't return the pieces back to deck at all. Mm, true. Um, so it just kind of like happens at a waiting room, like merges in from waiting room, like completely. So that's kind of rough. The, uh, the only merge package I ever played was in uh, Memory Snow, but it returning itself was such a big deal. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't merge out of deck, it just merges from waiting room. It's like kind of awkward. The other piece isn't good. We can't um, all be Peter Locky. Yeah, uh, it's uh, not very good. Yeah, I don't think your payoff is good. It's even good either. So. Yeah, speaking of that, Ollie. Uh, three T Chainsaw Man. When this player from stage, uh, from hand or by the effect of the two on Denji, you just check three at a card to your hand. Uh, and then on reverse, you can pay one, ditch one, to Icy Tail. Woo! What a payoff! Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. not very good. Not not very good at all. I mean, it's like. Like playable, yeah. I I, I would like playable. maybe consider this by itself if I was desperate for an off finisher. I mean, I think yeah, if it, if you're brand new to the game as a TD card, it's like fine. But I don't think you would play it for longer than you would have to until you get other cards to play. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, TCG players are poor, man. <laughs> True. Alright, last TD card here. Uh, we got this 3-2 power. On play, heal, and then when this card attacks, you can pay one, sack one of your other Devil Hunter or Public Safety characters, and if you did, choose up to two cards in your opponent's waiting room, return them to your opponent's deck, and then they shuffle their deck, and then this turn, this gains a thousand power. So you can uh, pay one, sack a character, shuffle back two clean cards into your opponent's deck. If your opponent's at a really low deck state, this might be, like, really, really good. Otherwise, it's just, like, kind of eh, the healer in your trial deck. Alternatively, we could shuffle back climaxes for that icy tail. Yeah, mm. 
Mm-hmm. So, I still sound pretty good now. Uh-huh. No, it's a good card. Your payoff is here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You gotta play. Yeah, you gotta play a bunch of mediocre cards to make your mediocre card uh, slightly <laughs> better. Slightly less mediocre. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just hop right into yellow. There were no additional TD cards that really mattered, so there's no notable profile slot. But John, you can start with uh, the power climax combo. All right, so power is a level one, zero cost, 4,500. Uh, it reads, it can't side attack. And then for each of your other devil hunter, public safety, or animal characters, it gets 500. So on a full board, it'll be 65. Uh, CX combo, when it attacks, if you have the choice climax in your climax zone, if you have two or more other devil hunter, devil, or animal characters, look it up to four and choose up to one of those traded characters, reveal it to the opponent at the end, and then send the remaining to the waiting room. And then if the character across from it is level two or higher, this gets 6,000 power during the turn, so for a total of 11,500. Wait, Very nice. the level two killer is tied to the combo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot worse than I thought it was. Mm. No, it's yeah. not just inherently a level two killer, it's a... Uh... You gotta oh, slam that's... climax. You have to play the oh, climax. I thought this that was, was just... all. Yeah, unfortunately, oh. that was all one effect. Okay. I mean, yeah. still pretty good if Alice it's is like somehow five. still around, or Slime, sure. or God knows whatever. By the time Chainsaw Man comes out, if there are still like level two combos at level one, and you're like, mm-hmm. hmm, I want to play Magro. Well, your Magro just like randomly shits on those decks for free. So... Yeah, I think that's pretty fine. It just feels really shitty, like, like missing the climax with this combo feels even worse when you're against those decks. I mean, it's it, not like you it can is just a, have, like, a level 2 killer to fall back on. It is a 65 cross turn for no reason. It like, is true. Yeah, it's, like, oversized for no reason. I like it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, like, these. They, they, they're they printing, like, Mogoro random upside. We saw it in, like, Licorice Recoil as well with, like, like Mogoro stun. Like, mm-hmm. we're starting to get, like, random u- edge case utility effects, like, stapled to these things. Yeah, I don't hate the card. I don't know. Coming from the set I played the most being Poyo Poyo, anything stapled onto a Mogro feels better. <laughs> yeah, when it's more than like, just Mogro. You don't like five or more hand condition Mogro? You know what? Uh, can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> How many times I missed my combo, despite you know everything else going on well. a five k stock soul Insane. combo. Yeah, yeah, not not happy, but you know, I think this is a cool card. I I think it'll be really funny if if somehow the like two one menaces exist mm-hmm. until this comes out and like people play power just just oh, for that because yeah, like for sure. because if that does happen, it'll be it'll be really funny to see just because uh. Chainsaw Man over in Japan is, like, really only one shell. Mm-hmm. And it, it's not playing this mostly because, like, you know, all those things are gone. Aside from yeah. Slime, but I mean, like, targeting one deck instead of, like, one deck that's not as much of the room as opposed to, like, what Alice was in Japan, which was, like, everywhere. Sure. So. Oh, I could random... If if Alice and uh, Slime and maybe even, like, Kanata's decks are still relevant, this deck could definitely just pop up in a regional and do well if it gets the run yeah because the big thing with clearing those combos is like you got to clear all of them Mm -hmm. like you got to run over everything and this does like run over everything all right next card go ahead ollie uh i lost my place uh three two power uh if you're four three three two yeah three two eighty five hundred uh four more others early play during your turn, if you have another Devil Hunter or Devil or Animal character, it gets 2,500 power in the following effect. Uh, when this card's level 2 or higher, Battle Opponent is reversed. You can pay 1 to salvage a character, and it's on play heal. It's a good card. Yeah, I'm a fan. I like these, like, healers that uh, you can, like, spend a little more to, like, maybe sculpt your next turn. Um... Depending on, like, you know, this card's only 10-5 on its own. Probably needs some extra power. Or 11k, rather. 11, yeah. Yeah, you, you probably like need a little bit of extra extra pump. It's not too bad, though. Uh, to get over something. But, at least when you do, you can, like, you know, replace itself. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it's, a, like, 
a fairly easy early play condition, so it having any additional bonus is pleasant. If this was a stock healer, it'd be pretty insane. True. Yeah, since you also, could like just pick up another one, just like keep going. Yeah. Also, I realized I was wrong about the total power on the previous card. It's thirteen thousand five hundred. Yeah, um, so you're like uh, that's like pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. We got this uh, three-two chainsaw man combo. You have three or more other characters. This card gets two thousand power, so he'll be eleven k pretty much all the time. Uh, when this card is placed in the stage from hand, you can heal, uh, just normal heal, and then on attack, if you have the choice in your climax zone, you have three or more other characters. You can burn your opponent for one, uh, and then until the end of your opponent's next turn, this card gains the following effect. Uh, when this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may pay two, ditch two, burn your opponent for two. And send that reverse character to the top of your opponent's deck. Uh, so on your turn when you get a reverse, you get that extra burn and then uh, confirmation of like one damage on your next swing. Uh, on your opponent's turn, you probably deny that effect. That is a may effect. You do not have to send that character to the top of your opponent's deck. Or maybe, you know, winning that lane and getting that character off the board uh, turns off like a full field condition on a successive combo something like that mm -hmm. i don't know got like some uh it's, it's very expensive to like have a cross turn effect like that but mm -hmm. uh it is it, you could like randomly turn some stuff off with it yeah i mean unless you have some kind of support on this card it being 11 doesn't feel like it's going to reverse a whole lot and it would be even more expensive to like play a backup to win that lane but it is nice, I guess, to have the option to remove a card if it absolutely has to. Pay to ditch to is like so heavy. Like Ugh. you're never, you're never going to play a counter on top of that. So you have to have some kind of really good support on field, I think. Yeah, it's at least it's a trouble girl for free. But I don't know, <laughs> trouble trouble girl and and slightly better than slightly better than eh for having the extra effect. All right, John, go ahead. You keep getting these Pochita Denji. Yeah, you like giving me these really long cards. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, so we have a level zero Pochita that reads, if your level is three or higher, you can choose up to one character in your waiting room, add it to hand, then choose up to one character with Chainsaw Man in its name uh, from your hand and place it on stage in the previous slot. Afterwards, place this card underneath that character face up as a marker or send this to waiting room uh, and it the cost of that is pay one and send the ng from your hand to waiting room and then it's a brainstorm uh rest self uh salvage characters for each hit not bad and then the denji is a 3500 level one during your turn this gets 4k and cannot side attack and during this card's battle if damage dealt to you is cancelled you may send this to the waiting room if you did, send the top card of your deck to stock. So, like, Garden. the markers, as far as I know, are, like, completely flavor. They're, like, there's, like, nothing that, like, uses markers. Yeah, I think it's probably just flavor of Pochita yep. being underneath Denji. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flavor yep. reasons, yeah. The Denji still, is I mean, actually pretty good. I like that card. Yeah, uh, yeah, 7,500 for free. Not bad at all. Might get you some stock. I think it is interesting that it sends the top card of your deck to stock instead of it, but you would probably rather it be a different card if you're going to actually use the Pochita in any effect, but still. No. I think if you're playing a Chainsaw Man level 3 of any kind that you're trying to summon, you probably play this Brainstorm. <laughs> probably just a no-brainer. It's just extra extra stuff so it's probably just like a like a b in that deck and like i don't know i like that denji it's like an off the the denji's off actually one. pretty good yeah yeah you also like randomly like the card just like randomly disappears before battle your opponent's trying to reverse it or something if you cancel it's like oh, that's true randomly disappears doesn't matter maybe yeah. like randomly huh. poofs <laughs> all right all right 
<clears throat> All right, we got this uh, Machina level zero. Uh, when this place from stage to hand, you pay cost if you do. Search your deck for up to one climax, add to your hand, then reveal climax in your hand. Exchange them, shuffle your deck afterwards. At the beginning of climax phase, choose a devil hunter or a devil character. Then his turn gets 1k power. It's a climax swapper from deck. This will be the first one of these that English sees. Uh, the actual first one was a Disney 100, but this is <laughs> the first one that will come to English. Um, they're pretty cool. They're they're about the same as one from Waiting Room. Um, mm -hmm. So it is what it is. You can play one of each if you got the space for both. Have access to both. But just another utility card. I think the uh, random power game is also handy. Oh yeah, for sure. There we go. We're finding ways for. Uh... For the level three chainsaw man to reverse now. <laughs> yep, we'll slowly get there. Yeah, more and more pieces. <laughs> All right. Let's play these five simple cards to make yep. your one card good. <laughs> these five one k power pumps. Your one yeah. finisher. All right, uh, we got this power. Um, this is placed on stage from your hand. You can pay one ditch one if you did. We got two cards from the top of your deck. Place them on the top of your deck in any order. Choose. And then choose a devil hunter, devil, or animal character in a waiting room and add it to your hand. Yet another weird, you must pay the upfront cost because these effects are usually separate, but they are now together. You do not get the top to rearrange unless you pay one, ditch one, salvage. I don't think this is like very good. I just thought it was very weird. That's it. Very strange effect. Is there anything in the set that actually cares about the top two rearrange, or is it just for your, like, convenience? I don't think there's anything, like, that overtly matters with the top card of your deck outside of, um, the Aki stuff. But you have, like, a much better way to check the top yeah, card of your deck sure. than this. Um, sure I don't know. I just... This? No, I just think this is, like, really weird that, uh, in here. That's why I left it in. What do you think, Holly? Uh, it's, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Not sure you're, uh, like, ever clamoring to fit this in your 50? Yeah, I mean, there's no. not much to really say about it. No. I just think it's... I don't know why they did this in this set where it's just, like... You have this, like... This this was normally just a drop salvage with a top two rearrange on it. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, we are combining the lines of text. Like, oh, okay. Whatever it's, you say. Is the stat line any different than a card that would have it separated? I don't think. And I don't think. So. I don't so think cool. so. <laughs> Twenty five hundred sounds about right for those two effects. Well, yeah, no, for sure. That's bizarre, then. Yeah, it is weird. All right, uh, John, go ahead. All right, we have a level three two cost Makima. She's four thousand power. Uh, reads assist all your characters in front of us get two thousand. Uh, if you place this on stage from hand, you can discard a card from your hand to the waiting room. If you did, send your top card to clock to stock. And then it's a pay one, rest two, brainstormer, top check four. Uh, for each climax, then you search for a devil hunter or devil character and add it to your hand. Just sounds like your generic standby assist target. I don't know. Yeah. Other use for it. <laughs> and he, it heals. It it doesn't it heals take sometimes. up your brain. <laughs> doesn't take up your brainstorm slot. Um, seems fine. Yeah, seems there's like, like your most generic target. <laughs> there's like there's like one. That's ah, probably bad. There's, there's like one standby deck that you would play in this set, and like I don't know. I really like these when they don't when they have like brainstorm. So like you like upgrade your brainstorm. You don't yeah, eat your like, assist slot. Very convenient. They definitely do feel nice uh, when you have to, but you know, it just feels like your most generic target for an assist at this point, which oh, is yeah. a, not a bad thing at all. All right, Ollie. All right, <clears throat> we got this level zero Denji. Uh, on play, you can put the top two cards of your deck in your grave. Uh, it gets X power. X is equal to the number of double hunter. Double characters, I would assume, times 1,000. 
Yeah, thousand yes. thousand. Uh, and then you can send a devil hunter, devil character, or devil character in your hand to the waiting room. Uh, one that's placed on station from hand or attacks, you can pay cost and draw a card. Nice, neat little double filter. Yeah, on play or nice. on attack. Yeah. From playing Lamy in the uh, Hall Live, the double filter is nice, but I don't think the main effect of this card is good enough to play it for. No. Not at all. I don't think we're exactly hurting for a 3500 oversize occasionally that has a slightly good second effect. You mean you don't just melt two climaxes off this every time? Oh no, I do. <laughs> deck speed. It is deck speed. <laughs> You're so right. All right, uh, level zero Makima looking out the window. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may send two Devil Hunter or Devil characters from your hand to the waiting room. And if you did, look at up to two cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, add it to hand, send the rest of stock in any order. And then when your other Devil Hunter or Devil character attacks during this turn, this card gets 1,000 power. So it could swing in at a 35, uh, just at level zero. And then later on in the game, it's like a... Weird hand filter plus hand to slot slash dig for climax slash whatever you want. Um, there's a lot of ways to like for this, this effect, it's like a two card dig or like a climax or an event that you might need, uh, that you didn't draw, uh, after your other effects, or just might be able to give you extra stock for another play to convert hand into stock, uh, on demand. Yeah, that's a really neat effect. I don't know if I can yeah. see myself playing it, but if your deck randomly just pluses you hard enough, I could see you playing this then. There is a deck that does that. Um, yeah. This is this has been a uh, this has been a card that's shown up in a lot of uh, the Aki engine decks. Okay, uh, with yeah, the I level zero that, combo then. just because they vomit a lot of hand. Or rather, get a lot of hand back in battle steps so they can like actually use this card. Yeah, that makes sense then. <clears throat> Just without having seen any of the other cards, this in a vacuum seems like it would be tricky. But if you plus enough, for sure it's good then. All right, next, uh, John, go ahead. Okay, we have a level one forty five hundred Denji. It reads. When a climax is placed in your climax zone, you may pay one. If you did, mill your top two and choose one level X or lower devil hunter or devil character and add to hand. X is the total level of the milled cards. And the second effect is when your other devil hunter or devil character is front attacked, you can pay one and sacrifice this character. If you did, you return that character to hand. Pretty neat. It's a Amagi type thing and a Shinobu type thing in one. Cigarettes. <laughs> That's a, and it's also forty five hundred power. This thing could be in the front row with like a with like a climax down. It's like not the worst card. It's a lot of things. With the one K one, that's a lot of nice effects. That's a lot of plusing. I, I, I'm I'm guessing the intent is with eight choice with the extra mm -hmm. stock you have from triggering climaxes you can. <laughs> Turn that stock into cards by not only recurring a card in your front row, but also uh, on the turn that you slam this down, also grabbing a card from your grave with the cigarettes effect. Pretty good. I'm a fan of this, actually. Yeah, I think if you're playing 8 choice, I could foresee seeing this be one of the highlights for your uh, deck. I guess if the level 1 choice would be that power we saw earlier, then this is like... A nice other thing to do as well. Yeah, for sure. To loop the power then the next turn. If you're expecting Alice to do the same thing every single turn, which they will. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Yeah. All right. And it's outside of being uh, blown up by the Alice brainstorm. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 4,500. A little too big. All right, next, Ollie. Okay, we got this Dungeon T1. Uh, when it's placed from 
placed on stage from hand and pay costs. If he did, your opponent chooses a clown in the waiting room and turns all the cards in their way into the deck, shuffles their deck. It's one card Fumio. Then you can sack this to chew to bounce one of your opponent's characters. That is a Fumio. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of them of all time for sure. I mean, at least you can also like sack it, get a bounce. It's like two two edge case like end game effects in one. Mm -hmm. Um, and you only got to like pay one and like basically get rid of this card for the effect. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. when you want to bounce, you like don't even want that card in the front row anyway. So might be might be actually good that this card gets itself off the board, as well as being a decompression tool. I actually I I think this card's pretty good. As a two one Fumio, they're like they're like never great, but mm -hmm. it's fine. I think Fumio it's being a level two doesn't matter nearly as much as Stock Swap being a level two. No, it, it being a level two is almost irrelevant, but it being just a one cost with an additional one for the effect or just a one cost for a good effect in general, I think is quite strong. All right, moving on. We got uh, whose card is this? You. Okay, three two power. Uh, when this card attacks, if you have five or less clock, you may uh, pay three, then the one card from your hand to clock, then the climax in your climax zone of the waiting room. You did choose up the three card in your opponent's waiting room, place them on top of your opponent's deck in any order, and then burn four. So it's like you deal four damage, but you only attack for one because you stack three. So it always does, you're like trying to confirm four exactly, and you can only do it once. You have to sack the climax. That seems rough. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little rough. That's a very expensive burn four that is kind of more of just a, like... Burn three plus one, but yeah, I mean, if you can't do even all use that, it at three six, doesn't yeah. have an on play effect. <laughs> if you do all that and they cancel, like their top card is a climax, <laughs> like I, I don't think you're winning the game ever. <laughs> no, never. Because then it's uh, sack the CX, so you're only attacking for two. Because it's a one. Yeah, game. that's like that's brutal. I. Like yeah, I don't like this at all. This is not it's good. Not, not a good card. Oh no. Oh, you've done something. Oh, no, I don't even know what it is. It's definitely not great. I think it's an F. I think this card stinks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, not. Not good. I don't think this is like. I think the, being I don't think there is any case where this is playable. Uh, I mean, only needing to confirm one damage. It's pretty good value, I think. But it doesn't do anything on play. It's pay three. It's like playing a single card. last yeah, shot. You're you're just fucking trying to kill your opponent, bro. You don't yeah. need to do anything. But well, you got rid of the CX. What else are you going yeah, to do? Yeah, I don't know. I would just rather have the CX. I would rather <laughs> play three last shots than play one last shot that was only actually swinging for one. Like, I don't know. The fact that you can only do one makes it uh kills it for me. Unless this is some insane big brain ploy where you intentionally have more stock so you can do this first and then swing smaller on the other ones, which is insane. I don't think there is any realm where this is playable. Yeah, I don't, uh, do not like, like um, unless there's some insane off climax finish abilities like this seems way too expensive. Yeah, we had the bread. No. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no. we had that bread, dude. We, I just said too expensive. You, uh, We're not playing you, the four cost event. <laughs> you uh combine this with the um event so you can stack four clean four guaranteed damage. You're oh right. wait, no, that doesn't because you still burn Oh wait, no, because it's burn one and then you can stack, right? I think uh, yeah, right? You, you can you're allowed to pick in any order. Yeah. So yeah, I so think this was the combo people. Stack. I think this was the combo people were like, yeah, you play this with the event and it's sick. Wow, it's okay. like Fate Laser but for four and it costs seven. It costs, well, what is this? Because I think your, four your plus best two order, plus three. I think your best order would be what? Play the event, stack three on top, burn one, so you still have two known, 
attack with this first, so you stack three, and then it's five known. So you're left with a guaranteed four, and then one guaranteed. Well, the so event's you're swinging event. for one after, and then the, the event. event also pumps one soul on the other lanes to make up for the fact you stack your CX. That's like, that's way too much to be asking. <laughs> yeah, dude, just just hit. Yeah, just just have. You everything. know what? Fine. With 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 the <laughs> with the events, you get a D, not an F. But still, I think it stinks so bad. <laughs> That's it's a lot. That's way too much to put together. You're just asking I mean, so I, much. I mean, you see my score. I'm not. I'm not invested. In Money. <laughs> no, you've made me invested. In <laughs> oh no. All right. Next, you got the cat. John's yours. Oh boy. Yonko. Look how yeah, happy Yonko. Yonko. I was trying to remember oh, what its sorry. name was. I do like the background. That's very cute. And it's also pretty so smiley, happy. just regularly. Uh, all right. So this reads: uh, Act. You can pay one, sacrifice this. You choose one of the level one power climax character in your waiting room, and you place it in the, this card's previous slot. And then during this turn, that character gets two thousand power. And the following effect: on attack, you can pay one to perform trigger check twice. That is pretty sick. It's also a 5k level 1. So it's not too bad in its own rate if you have no target. You like pay 1 to turn it into your combo. So And then hopefully your combo pluses. So you like turn that into a plus. And then at well, least you, you can attack. Your combo, even if you're not playing the climax, is going to be 8500 just by summon. Oh yeah, that's you right. have a full board. You so that's that. pretty good. And then the combo is always going to plus, unless you reveal four climaxes, heaven forbid. But and you got the twin drive. Fifteen thousand five hundred. Don't, don't will that into the universe, please. I, 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 well, hey, listen. If that happens to you, I'm sorry, but you weren't winning. <laughs> yeah, you weren't winning anyway. <laughs> you weren't so. winning, but I, I don't know. This seems pretty strong and like a much, much better reason to play it. Uh, that level one combo. The like problem good. with this is that it is only animal trait. Finding it early will be that's difficult. true. Um, that is true. Every power card seems power to combo, grab so you can animal, though. So there is that at least. I don't think the salvager. No, it doesn't. No, it's she, not. Only grabs that's Devil Hunter saying. public safety. Uh, Wait, but every so other card of hers grabs animal. Why wouldn't that one grab it? Well, because that's the trial deck. You can't have spoilers. You're right. My yeah. Oh, you're right. The trial decks hacks. My apologies. <laughs> All right. Other. I think it's fine though. I, I think, think it's, it's good. Yeah. I think it's a good enough reason to be playing that level one combo. The only problem Dex. is the trait. Everything else about yeah. it. Yeah. The, the uh, trait definitely deck stinks. Slots. Yeah, deck slots is a thing, but it's an auxiliary level one. Like if if you don't have the deck slots for him, like you know, it's probably playing something very directed. Well, or just so yeah what we discussed earlier was playing that denji that can pay one to bounce another character so i guess your choice is either between that or this for looping the power yeah. this seems like if you're playing that level one combo you probably want to be playing it every single turn and this seems like a good enough way to be doing that yeah maybe it seems roll. like that kind of deck yeah and i mean like if you're trigger checking twice ideally you high roll at least a choice climax during your uh, trigger chuck attacks, whatever. Yeah, you get your stock back that it yeah, used to do that. Let's I think you, it's like, a neat package. Out. Trait definitely is the part that's like smelly on this for sure. But I mean, look at how cute the card is. Why wouldn't you miss it? it? <laughs> All right, Ollie, you get the last. All right, we got Aki going. Ah, ah. Uh, that's a 1-1 one, one event. Uh, you can ditch two Devil Hunter or Devil characters uh, to search your deck for up to one character with Denji or Chainsaw Man in their name, up to one character with Aki in their card name, and up to one character with Power in their card name. Uh, and add them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you pay one, ditch this, and ditch two characters to search yeah, three characters search with different names. Put for three specific names. It is yeah. minus one to go even. Awesome. <laughs> yep. Minus one stock to go even. It's yeah, my yeah, yeah the, the card advantage is neutral. 
Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're neutral overall. You're just paying one to filter. It's but a I mean, triple yeah. drop search. It's a triple drop search that <laughs> yeah. you have to pick three drop different ball. characters for. Yeah, I um, don't don't like it. But I like think it. it's stinky. I do think it's funny that I think this is a scene where he's yelling at uh, Power for yeah. making the, the toast from earlier. So that's something, I guess. Thirsty. Yeah, he's yelling at both of them because they're just, both like, of them. Yeah, yeah. absolute menaces. Yeah, they're just being <laughs> fucking shit lords of this apartment. <laughs> he's just like, oh my god, I'm going to kill both of you. All right. And then notable yellow profiles, not very many. There were a, a lot of very interesting or good cards in yellow. Uh, just three here. We have the uh, two one three K memory kick, just a two K backup, and then in the center there we got these two one level assist to front. You could tap it to give two K anywhere. Uh, oh, so that's pretty nifty. decent. Uh, just two one level assist, and I think we're just gonna soldier on with green. Green isn't that big of a color, but there are a lot of good cards. It's in a it. very base mm -hmm. color. Yeah. So um, that was all. So back to me. We got this Hino. You know. It is a uh, self type salvage brainstorm. It also has pay one, send the standing character to memory. Only if your level is two or higher, you may search your deck for one level two or higher character. So if your opponent added to hand, shuffle your deck. Um, there That's are cool. two very good specific cards uh, that you would want to be grabbing for this. And the fact that you can cash out this brainstorm when you're probably playing this alongside another brainstorm is also really nice also going to be a condition for the next card to gain power and encore uh lots of like not pre-made but like kind of canned packages of cards in chainsaw man that you want to be playing together uh based on like specific character pairings or character groups mm -hmm. oh this seems a uh, pretty good even with that level three makima brainstorm revealed earlier yeah just the... like if if you're playing like something like maybe eight choice where you want to cash out your stock eventually, this seems like a good way to pair with that. Yeah, just generally the fact that it can add any level Anything. two or higher. Yeah, this that's, is also that's... pretty sure like just Crazy. actually the best brainstorm you can play. That's not the um the blue one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, th this is like to me, this is kind of just a nuts two effects to have stapled together. The fact that it just you know, you, you do have to choose. You can't brainstorm and send it, but, oh, like, sure. but like, whatever. Just a little bit of forethought, and you have a pretty <laughs> Yes, pretty I would like utility. to grab my finisher. Thank you. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, worst case use is, oh, no, I'm at level three. I would like to win now. Let me go, you know. Yeah, let me go get my card. You want to go get a good card, you know. Speaking of a good card, uh, John, go ahead. Long cards, as always. All right. So we have a 3 2 6500 Aki. Uh, it reads If you have the Humano Brainstorm in your memory, this card gets 4,000 power and uh, character encore. You have to ditch a Devil Hunter or a Devil character. And it reads When you're placed on stage, you can choose a Devil Hunter or Devil character in your waiting room to add it to hand. And then the climax combo is with a gold bar. When this attacks, if the gold bar is in your climax zone during this turn, this card gets 1,000 additional power. And then you send the bottom four cards of the opponent's deck to waiting room, deal one damage to your opponent X times. X is the number of climax of cards. That is crazy. <laughs> Kitani, Kitani asked, what do we need to do to make Icy Tails good? And R&D said yes. And it's like, we will do all the things. It will add another copy of itself. It will... If it lives, be able to go again the next turn. It will be free, so you won't have to pay any additional costs on the next turn. It will burn in instances of one, so your opponent can't cancel them. And then the the secret sauce, because this will be a separate video, I will spoil it. The easy revenge event that will be in your mm -hmm. deck if you're playing this card gives you the ability to surveil the bottom card of your opponent's deck on attack. So you, If you have multiple of that in your uh, memory... You can go like, okay, look at the bottom card of my opponent's deck. It's clean. Bin it. Look at the bottom card of my opponent's deck. It's a climax. Leave it. Do the icy tail effect. Resolve the burns. And then do whatever checks you have left on that on attack bucket uh, mm -hmm. to like go into the next one. So it's like four plus your number yeah. of easy revenges uh, for every one of these you field. Yeah, this card seems just absurd. But only note uh, for the climax combo to be better, it should have checked zero 
level zero cards instead of climaxes. What were they thinking, honestly? Unplayable. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but that that's the secret. That's the that's next year's climax combo for, you know, next year's set. <laughs> Yeah, no, this card okay. this card just reads insane and everything surrounding it seems awesome. Oh, he slaps. He does. Right. He's the coolest dude. Sure. Uh we got this uh what the fuck's her name again? Kobeni? Kobeni, Kobeni yeah. yeah, yeah, Kobeni. Uh yeah, level zero, it's just a vanilla Rico. On um, play digit card, check top, salvage X uh salvage level or lower. I mean, I think a Rico clone is better than no clone, no Rico clone, but kind of smells that doesn't do anything additional, and that's a rare. Yeah, you will still play it, though. You will still play it because you have to, but you're not going to be happy about it. You have a lot of level zeros you want to rip back to, like really that's good fun. utility mm -hmm. pieces. So B, B or B minus. Yeah, yeah. It's like Rico's. Rico's so cracked. She Rico's just a crazy profile, yeah. but again, just like. It doesn't do anything. No else. extra effect kind of smells. I don't know. I think Stupid I got too used side. to the, the AOT Rico clone. That thing's crazy. Yeah, that card yeah. is pretty insane. That's like the best card in the deck. <laughs> I remember when like um the the set was just coming out and there was like missing red cards. And I was like talking with Jason, he'd be like, It'd be really cool if we got like a Rico and then like you know, people started to be like, it's a Rico, it's a Rico, and it surveils top. It was just like popping off, like insane. All right, we got this Komeni. Uh, if you have another Devil of Devil 100 character, this card gets 15 power. Okay. And then when this card's battle opponent is reversed, if all of your characters are Devil or Hunter or Devil, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, add it to hand, send the remaining cards to the waiting room, choose one card in your hand, send it to one. So it's like a 3k that when you get a reverse, you get to like dig two into your deck for something and filter out your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, weird card, don't think it's a good card. Like, fine at best. I don't know that yeah. would make the cut anytime though. All right, next. John. All right, this is a 2 1 Jimeno. She's 4,500, and it reads When this card attacks, if you have easy revenge in your memory, you reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Devil Hunter or a presumably Devil, because you wrote Devil Hunter twice, or easy revenge during this turn, all your characters get 4,000 power and one soul. <laughs> the fuck? Fixed it. Wow. <laughs> just just yes. another global soul. Yeah. And and save power. power for no real no real cost. Oh, hey now. Come on. We have to reveal not a CX. Oh yeah, my bad. This is I play this as a one of uh I don't know if I'm keeping it in the list. I don't know. It it, it shows up sometimes in mm -hmm. some JP topping lists, other lists don't have it. It is really cool. But it, like I don't know, you just like slam it down, you can like set up sides or like do like weird wonky yeah. shit with it. Um, so definitely, was definitely like what I was strong. Gonna mention. The, I don't the know. Side it's, seems it's interesting. So, it's definitely good for like getting weird, like exact damage. I think like the only like problem with this car is that it's like l powers a little low on it. So, oh oh yeah, this this thing high. this thing ain't living. I mean, it's eight five yeah, nine five of the climax, but like well, more than like it probably like can't. It's probably not going to kill like an early play. No, oh, no. I mean, this is for like going under or uh bumping up your other lanes because uh you can like keep your Aki early plays alive with the backup but then like they're smaller on the backswing mm -hmm. they only get power when they're dropped so it's like a way to like have your Aki early plays like kill stuff again um like if your opponent is like fighting your early plays with their early plays instead of like anti early play tech um but like it's definitely good. I just don't know if I'm keeping it because there's like so many cards you want to like put in this deck. Mm -hmm. This like stock soul bar deck. There are like so many cards you want to jam in this deck. Um, yeah, so. feels very much like a, a one or a zero, never more. And I don't know. It I would think, just I be think... like your choice if you even want to play any copies. I don't know. 
to to me having access to global cell outside of slam and climax just sounds broken it is really good it is very comfy oh yeah the fact sure. that you can like especially because this is a level two and you're like huh didn't draw climax like huh like don't really have access to my check three anymore like my compression is good but my opponent just triple triggered Guess I'll cash out my brainstorm yeah. <laughs> to go get this card yeah, to punish sure. my opponent. Like it does give you some pretty nuts lines. Yeah. Um, when you're like, you know, otherwise wouldn't have one. Yeah, it, I don't know. Feels good. Global soul always nice. Ability to side for exact damage occasionally feels good as well. I don't know. That's like the fattest B plus plus I can possibly give it. Yeah. I, it's it's just hard for me to fit. Otherwise, cards bad. Mm -hmm. All right, next card. Ollie, go ahead. Oh, it's me. It's my favorite character. Katana uh, Man. Katana Man. Two yeah. one combo. <laughs> uh, it's a four other early play. Uh, when this attacks, it gets a thousand power times the number of your opponent's characters, so it can swing at eleven k. Uh, and then combos with the bar. Uh, when this card's battle point is reversed, you can pay cost. Uh, if you do, which is uh, sack the bar climax. If you do, like the three cards at the top of your deck, choose up to three double hunter or double characters out of your hand. So the rest of the waiting room. And until the end of your opponent's turn, this gets 2k power and hand encore. I this played card with this card quite a bit. Sick. Seems cheeky. But uh, kind of like probably, it. Probably not going to be good in English unless Alice gets it. It was uh, testing with this at the start um, and not the Stocksville combo was actually really fun. It just has all the problems of a four or more early mm -hmm. play combo uh, where, you know, you have to puke your hand. You have to fill your board. You want to play these blue events that are like the di a different color. Uh, to like get your pieces to then play this like I don't know there's there's all the awkwardness of it being a 2-1 full field at one early play however in the games where like you go off with this thing this thing's nuts this thing stays on the board like mm -hmm. continues to plus you you are playing eight bar in that deck there's a really crazy reason to be playing eight bar your bars turn into heal triggers yeah um sure. but like playing eight instead of four means you get to abuse that more um, because those are the only two bar comes in the set. We just saw them. There are only two climaxes. Uh, so if you want to play a bar, this is what you're playing. But I mean, you could do a lot worse. I do think Ollie's right. If these like big level two mid game stuff stay around, uh, you obviously can't ever play this. Um, but it's definitely something to mess around with if you like it more. Still, you still get to play all the really good Chainsaw Man cards. If you decide to play yeah. this, like the deck doesn't look much different. <laughs> Being on a bar also uh, is really good for the uh, for an early play in blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I think it's quite cheeky. It is fourteen thousand, assuming they have a full board, which does just tie a uh, Alice even with their no, 3K it's, counter. it's it's twelve k when it attacks. It doesn't yeah. get until it reverses something. Oh, it, it, it like reverses. it's no, like totally sits. Right. It like okay. sits eight k mm. hand on core opponent's turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I misunderstood then. It's not as cool as I thought it was. I think it's still neat though. Yeah, it's still definitely the, good. If you it's get to still, check and add three, it does just pay for the encore, which it, is definitely kind of hot. But it is probably the best version of this early mm. play. Grab a shit ton of cards combo. They probably. I agree. I agree. Yeah, definitely super playable. Oh, you're you're definitely right. Then it depends on what happens with Alice and Slime more than anything. All right, three, two, you know, uh, on play, bounce one of your opponent's characters, and then you may choose to discard a card. And if you did, you could bounce another character. So it's a uh, double bounce on play, uh, if you want, or just a single bounce. All you need is a single one. It also has an alarm effect. If this card's the top card of your clock at the beginning of your climax phase, you can discard one card. If you did. Choose one of your opponent's level one or higher characters. Your opponent chooses one level uh, X or lower character in the waiting room. Exchange them. X is the level of your chosen character minus one. Damn, that is a lot of board disruption on one card at a bunch of different timings. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, this is like easy one of. Like, yeah. It's yeah, just, one, just one too many things. To me. Too many things. Like, if it's in your hand early, your opponent drops something annoying, you can just clock it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. like disrupt your opponent and then it 
at level three. Uh, get that shit out of there. You ain't getting tap countered. Play this down. You don't have to worry about tap. For sure. I, I mean, the the alarm effect also just not being uh, like rooted to any level uh, restriction feels kind of crazy. You can yeah. win at least one lane against Alice. You can do whatever you want, really. It seems quite strong. Yeah, pretty good card. Next, John. All right, we have another Jimeno, level zero. It reads, when the Climax is placed in your Climax zone, look at the top card of your deck, place it on top or bottom of your deck or the waiting room, wherever you want, really. Uh, choose one of your characters, and until the end of the opponent's next turn, it gains 1,500 power. And it also has, when your character trigger checks a Climax, if you have easy revenge in your memory, you can discard a Climax from hand to waiting room. If you did, you choose one character in your waiting room and add it to hand. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. What's up, Bonder? Yeah. It's, uh, the oh, problem, yeah, it's not a bonder. Yeah, it bonder. It's a, it's, it's a Spriggan, mm -hmm. but, um, my issue with this is like the, the time, this card is very strong. The time to use it is so narrow because of the things that you want to have in your back row, uh, in Chainsaw Man. It's like, you have like at level zero where you're just kind of like puking cards and then you have. Uh, at level one, I guess, and then at level two, you immediately want to go into the Aki back row, and you want to have the Hemino mm -hmm. brainstorm just chilling. Um, so you like have these two brainstorms that you already have chilling. Like maybe at some point you promote your level zero combo. Like I don't know when th this card was a little bit more attractive when I was trying to play eight bar, but then mm -hmm. when I was playing Stock Soul Bar, it didn't uh, didn't pay as many dividends. But it is still very strong. I think if you're playing. Um, the more traditional version, like the Aki Pants level one. And like, just like the full on Aki, like Aki Pants level yeah. one, Aki level three, probably something that you uh, play into a little more. Um, but definitely really good, just uh, narrow timing to use it. Re reading the card, it seems incredibly strong, but you're definitely right. This isn't like more often you're going to want that Aki back row instead. But I'm sure there is some, some like, cool decks you can brew with this. Just reading the card, it seems insane. But, yeah. Uh, all right, next. Uh, Ollie. Okay, we got 1-0 Kichibe, uh, 1-0-6-K. You cannot play events or backgrounds from hand. And uh, for each of your other Kishibes, uh, and of this of this specific Kishibe in the front row, uh, this gets 2K power. You got all three in the front row. You got a board of 10Ks Woo. for nothing. Um, there's a level zero combo that's pretty good. You actually play this, even with that drawback in a deck where you play Easy Revenge, you play this because you can just, like, slam this in the front row and have these giant cards, and it, like, does not hurt you to play them because you're just kind of waiting to play your level two. Mm -hmm. So. Role player card. Not, uh, not anything super crazy, but good in a deck with a level zero combo like Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Putting up 10k walls is sick. Alright. Uh, I got 1-1 one, one, Aki. When a Climax with a Choice Trigger is placed on your Climax Zone, all of your other Denji Chaser level zeros gain Choice Trigger in all zones. All of your Devil Hunter Devil characters in front of this card get plus 6 power. X is equal to that character's level 500, so it's just the level system front. And then when your character trigger wow. checks a Climax with a Choice Trigger, choose one of your characters this turn, it gets 1000 power and Twin Drive. So you get more choices. When you trigger a choice, you get to immediately pay out, out on the next attack. And it's a level assist. This is probably intended to be the card that you pick up with the uh, uh, Aki is very angry event. <laughs> with your power and your 
your denji. Your power and your denji. Yeah, that, I mean, that grabs one of each that you want for sure. Um, it's a lot of text. I, if you play a choice and you have enough green, I mean, there's a lot of good green cards. Um, probably play this if you're playing a choice. Seems fine. Like getting the fact that it's a level one, you can put this down at level one. You have other ways to get twin drive. You have like ways to just roll the twin drive. I mean, we've seen like rolling twin drive be strong with like standby and Mushoku, like giving it mid battle phase. This could be like a similar thing for choice. Not as strong, obviously, as standby, but still probably pretty good. Yeah. Seems fine. I think it being green is probably the worst yeah, part. Yeah, that's here, probably the it, awkward part. It feels awkward, but I mean, okay, so let's say you're playing it with like that power level one. What's the worst thing you have to do? Include uh, the Jimeno brainstorm, and then you're probably fine. <laughs> Yeah, and like no. some amount of other green tech cards. Yeah, yeah, seems seem, like seems doable for sure. Uh, I think the the power buff is enough to get you pretty comfortably over Alice and Slime Walls, assuming you are playing that level one power. Yeah, I mean this also is giving you extra power mid combat as well. Yeah, that's a great choice, which is what nice. I mean for sure. So doing double duty as a level assist and just like random spot power yeah i think uh i think you're right just if you're playing eight choices should probably be in the deck all right uh i believe this is john's card more yeah, text this again. is me i was going to say you love these long texts <laughs> incredible all right, so this is a level three Katana Man. It's a 9,500. It reads, if you have two or more of the level zero Katana Man in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in hand. It reads, when this card attacks during this turn, you can pay the cost, which is pitch two green cards from your hand to waiting room. If you do, this card gets 4,000 power, uh, and then... You send the top 18 cards of the opponent's deck to waiting room. Oh, sorry, I've misread that. When it attacks during this turn, it gets 4k, and then you can pay the cost, so the power isn't conditional on ditching the cards. Uh, and then it also says, at the beginning of the opponent's attack phase, you may pay the cost, which is pay one, send one of the level zero in your waiting room to the bottom of the deck. Uh, if you did during this turn, this card cannot become reversed. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then the level zero katana man is a 1500, and it reads when this is reversed in battle, you may choose one card in the opponent's clocks in its waiting room. If you did, the opponent clocks their top card to deck. And then it also reads uh, pay one, send this card to waiting room, look it up to top four of your deck, choose one level one or higher, and add it to your hand. And then the rest of waiting room. Seems pretty cheeky. Yeah, it's weird. Um... Like this big beater that doesn't die, mm -hmm. that just like eats your opponent deck alive. I guess it's flavor. It, yeah, it's I think he like flavor, slashes yeah. you. It's like a special attack. He like nothing personals you can hits you eighteen times. Yeah, that that's what the level zero is showing. He does that pose and then just slices you up a bunch. I don't know. Seems fine. Very funny card. It's like I don't know. Who needs Cinderella when you have? Uh, <laughs> yeah. when okay, you have when you when you play home. when you play Cinderella, you can also play a bazillion soul triggers. You play Dogarella. Sure. You can play sixteen additional level zero soul triggers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love. Shout out to Tanner, slamming Dogarella into everybody's face at locals. The dogs, are, the dogs are so sick. I showed it to one of our locals, and he's like, "What?" <laughs> I wanted to play Cinderella, and these swarm cards are insane. Because what happened was when he joined the community, I traumatized him by playing Red Poyo Swarm. And unfortunately, his level one game literally could not answer that. Like, it was just smaller. So he's like, huh. But now I think he's trying to get back at me. <laughs> the the Doggerella deck is like, it just like swings 3-3-3 three, three, three at you every single turn from level zero. And then um, the Cinderella comes down and just it just does refresh point damage every attack, and you're like, oh, this is really yeah. cool. Like, it's just yeah. like coin flipping. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a cheeky duck for sure. All right. Card. Ollie, go ahead. 
Okay, we got this one zero Himeno. Uh, during your turn, if you have the Easy Revenge event in your memory, this gets 3,500 power and the following effect. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you can send the top card of your opponent's clock to the waiting room and then clock kick that character. You don't play the Kishu Bay, you play this. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's that's it. K. <laughs> that is your uh that is your like auxiliary level one card for uh if you decide to not play the Kishu Bays in the front row, you can play this and uh along with some number of a blue card. Like usually how those level zero uh combo chainsaw man decks go. But uh this card's pretty good. Just like conditionless eight K on turn like hard removal. <laughs> Just like, that's a good card. <laughs> yeah, that card reads quite strong. I don't know. 9k with a CX. Yeah. I think your pick between this and Kishibe is mostly, again, what happens with Banlist. But yeah, even then, Banless I don't know. And meta. Banlist and uh, meta. It's just nice uh, having uh, two good choices for a big wall at level one. It's pretty lit in the slime. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're just like, yeah. uh, not that they play the early play anymore, but. Get rid of them. Get rid of that compression. Yeah. Mostly that. It, I think he meant for the answer for the memory card, but yeah. All right. Good. Got this one zero event. It's the bullet. Uh, choose one Devil Hunter Devil character that doesn't have a marker underneath it. Put this card underneath that character face up as a marker. During this turn, that character gets 2,000 power. When this card as a marker is sent to waiting room, if you have two or more other Devil Hunter characters, you can send this card to memory. And if this card is in your memory at the beginning of your main phase, you can return this card to hand. So you play it, you give something power, and then it falls off, and then it goes to memory, and then it comes back. Seems wow. good. <laughs> so you can like you can like neg one to like you can neg one every turn to give something two K. Wow, that's pretty mediocre. It is not very good. <laughs> it's funny. It is funny. It's time. slightly obnoxious, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like the fact that you could just like, hmm, could you use this in a deck to like randomly go over hand every turn? Does this card is that the secret with this card? <sighs> I remember that might be the secret. I remember when um, what was that set? Lost decade, and with yeah, the with yeah. the with the markers that they, they the did equips, this. Yeah. The equips they go to memory because this is basically an equip, right? Like yeah, so you without the new. Without like the back name, but yes. Dean was always talking about how these cards were secretly broken because you could use them to go over hand and you have a twelve yeah. card hand every single game. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a chainsaw man deck where you play four of this every single turn. They all go to memory. Um well one of them is stuck in your back row actually, so you can actually only do it with three. So the card has to die. And you have to have a full back row. And then you can float three extra hand. Uh, yeah. Every turn, if if such a deck exists, that seems kind of crazy. I mean, just randomly splitting up two k in three slots, or stacking one in six k. I don't know. It feels like you're never losing <laughs> your lanes. Yeah. But I don't know. It, it it would very specifically have to be in something that fills its hand up to seven every single turn for this to be like crazy to me, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Because otherwise the cards don't do anything. All right. Well, notable green profiles got quite a few here. Uh, we got this level zero Kishibe. He's optional. Mill three on play and a climax ditch salvage. Pretty good when you got a lot of bars. Nice uh, salvage utility piece. We have the Aki clean cut. This card makes its way into a lot of the level zero centric decks, but it's just a clean cut plus one K on turn. Pretty simple card. Not really a discussion point there. But it's on this slide. The slide is in the set review. That's what we do. I uh, got this Koveni. Uh, on opponent's draw phase, you mill three. If all of those are characters, you can bounce her to hand. It's like a really uh, worse uh, coin flip, but she's 2,500 <laughs> power to compensate. It's weird, not good, um, but interesting. Uh, then you have this card. It's 500 for each other character on turn, and then you can discard a specifically a character to summon a cost zero to the field. Cost zero summoner. Uh, pretty cool. And shit out a bunch of... Uh, pretty good cards that we've seen that are costless. I uh, got this Aki, which is another Climax Swap, but it is come and play Sack another character to Climax Swap instead of paying one. Uh, yet another Climax Swap, this 1-0 Kobeni. If all characters are Devil or Devil Hunter, this gets 2k all the time, so it's 6k. And then uh, pay one Climax Swap from Waiting Room, normal Climax Swap effect. 
Uh, so we're up to uh, four Climax swaps so far in the set. And then we got this Kishibe. He's a level assist, and then he gets 10k on your turn. So you can, like, promote him, and he's 12-5, which is pretty funny. Sure. <laughs> it's something, I guess. Yeah. He attacks, he also protects, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's the... Yeah, he, like, trains Denji Power. He's like, all right, stand, stand aside. Yeah. I don't know, that seems, like, pretty good, actually. But, again, your back row is so contested. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that was yellow, green, and the TD. We will see you all in red and blue.